Hi guys, good evening everyone, Mr. Nasty Blast here today. Uh, today uh, there is no RPG 7 or anything like that. <laughs> right, a lot of uh, subscribers, uh, of my subscribers, they are asking how I make my thumbnails. Uh, it's a compliment to me, uh, by the way, because uh, thank you so much for these... Um, for um for these compliments on my uh, thumbnails right guys so i want to make a tutorial on um how to make uh thumbnails right so uh let's uh start okay first of all uh, i'll try to make it very simple right i'm not an expert on uh, photoshop or uh or uh graphics design I just I'm self uh, taught, but uh, I can do a little bit uh, with it. Okay, uh, first of all, um, I go to uh, Photop here, www.photop.com. Uh, 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 it's entirely free. It's very similar to uh, Photoshop, so it's a great uh, app to work with. It's completely free. It's online. Right. Uh, once we. Um, we are on um, on photo P you click a new project a new projects are there uh, then we want to choose uh, 1280 and 720 because this is the thumbnail uh, format right uh, so uh, okay when uh, you, you 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 type there if it's not mine is already standard because uh, I always use uh, that's format but uh, if not you can always uh, type the, uh, the, the uh, to the correct one 1280 right and 720 dpi here i never i never touch it anyways if yours is wrong i, I always uh, use that as uh, as a reference and then create well well here there are some samples there blah 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 but i, I always use that one i would just uh, try to um get you the information that i do uh, how i do mine okay very simple very simple i'll try to uh simplify as much as i can okay create create you're gonna get to these uh to this screen there right um i know my camera is here but you're not missing out or anything because uh it's got all the advert here so um you're not missing out or anything on this square here where my uh my camera is right uh you get to this background here right every um once you get to this on your um right hand side here you got uh this background here where you can uh, bring a menu up on it okay let's uh, double click on it now all this menu you come up uh, everything is in regards this uh, background here okay so what I do for my thumbnails is I go straight to gradients here gradient overlay okay again double click here right double click here it's got to be on these um on the move to on the move to there uh double click on backgrounds uh i go straight to gradient i love the gradient the gradient colors right gradient again so, uh, tick on the gradient right okay so were the gradient selectors here there are so many uh, so many templates here which you can use let's get uh let's choose one okay these uh red and green okay it looks good okay you can always this is this uh this is this what they uh this what you get here in this menu the scroll down menu there the drop menu there sorry then I, you can choose uh many of them you see let's choose uh, uh this one then okay let's go back you can always change colors here let's change the green so uh, you go on this little square here you can either choose the colors here or you can move the colors up and down until uh, you get to the color you want right in that case i want um yellow because yellow uh it's very flashy for thumbnails i think they are good 
they get uh, people's attention right uh, so our gradient here is done let's press ok our background is done right uh, now what I do is I need um, I need uh, pictures to put in it so I go to Google right Google and I put, let's say um, uh, okay Rambo let's say RPG RPG uh, PNG PNG uh, there's a, a format because uh, PNG we will come up pictures with no background right um, there will be no ba uh, background in them so it's um, it's just perfect okay just perfect because you don't have to cut it so you will skip uh, one uh, one step of in which you uh, you would have to cut cut out the picture okay let's see if these uh, okay okay let's say this one right no no I think the other one looks better let's go back okay here right I click here very basic save as so I've I've created a folder here a folder photo P that's where I keep I keep all my uh, my pictures for my um, for my work so okay save We've, we're gonna have the RPG there okay go back so again PNG the reason is that the PNG pictures they'll come up with no background usually like you see no background that's the reason why you'll be transparent uh, let's go back to photo P there and let's insert uh oh open and place okay open and place you go straight to okay here file open and place and let's get the rpg there great okay the rpg is here right oh it looks good actually it looks very good it looks very good i use for my thumbnail tomorrow uh let's uh shorten it a little bit I'll hold shift now right I'm holding shift I go to one of the corners of the picture and shrink it a little bit you shrink accordingly okay you can always shrink like that without the shift but then it goes all over the place you see it shrinks and it stretches out right now to move back to the original uh size okay uh i'll press ctrl z it goes back so if you if you make a mistake let's say oh uh, you pull the oh i didn't mean that ctrl z it goes back to the uh, original format not the original format but one step back and ctrl z twice two steps back and so on if you get lost you can always come to file not file sorry edit you come to edit you step forward step back okay so you tell right also here uh, you see these uh, learn here if you press here you open a window where you have all the commands for and shortcuts for photo P so very good tool very good app right let's go back okay RPG here let's uh, okay shift you go to one corner here okay you grab the corner shift and shrink it a little bit because i'll put some borders in it i think now it's a, it's a good size for hold on let me just adjust it shift stretch out a little bit that that's it or maybe a bit more hold on i'll, I'll, hold on, I'll shrink a bit more because I need, I, I'll need some writing. Okay, I think that looks great. Okay, that, that looks great. That's okay there. Okay, perfect. And then I tick it here. Confirm. Confirmed. Okay. I've got uh, I've got my picture there without background. 
Uh, well, obviously, uh, if you have a picture where it's got a background, then you have to wor work around it, cuts and uh, and so on. There is a website. It's called uh, uh, Remove dot bg which is like remove background remove dot bg if you go to this website you can uh, have any picture background removed very quickly and free okay so remove dot bg if you need to remove the background of uh, a picture if you want to save time i know how to do it myself uh, manually but you can use his website to speed things up and uh, it's just a thumbnail anyway, it's not, uh, it's just something simple. Right, uh, okay, I think now I don't want to touch more uh, uh, my background anymore, so I come here, I click on background here on the side, I put a lock on it, I go to uh, my RPG, I put a lock on it, just in case uh, you, you try to move it by mistake so it won't happen now okay it, it, it won't happen because it's it's locked okay now uh, what we are gonna do what we are going to do now is uh, let's um, let's decorate the RPG a little bit I double click don't, don't click on the letters here because look what's gonna happen right you asked you to rename well let's rename anyway RPG okay Okay, rename. So go in this space here, double click here. Uh, the layer style uh, menu come up. Uh, let's decorate it. Let's put some uh, outline around it. I go to stroke, click on stroke here. Right? Uh, as I stand it, it's red. Let's uh, put black on it. Okay, I just click on the black here size let's adjust the size that's it I, th I think it looks great like that uh gives a kind of a cartoon effect on this particular um uh, picture i'm adding a stroke but you can always add out a line you can always play around with it okay just because i like this the stroke but out a line will um well we'll create a line around it kind of faded as it goes up well we can always try all different um uh, different uh colors and effects here right uh, by uh, anyway i'm using the stroke now okay because i like i find it uh, very nice having the uh, or the or the uh, this outline here it gives like a, uh, a cartoon effect okay right that's done then we press OK. OK, OK, so our RPG has an outline there. It looks really good. Now let's go to... Um, let's put a border on it. Let's put a border on it. Right, so I'll come here to the uh, rectangle tool here. Right, rectangle, you press rectangle here. Uh, I'll drag, let's get one corner of the background picture okay i clicked on it you drag all the way to the opposite corner release it okay it's gone red because the fill here is red right we work with the uh, rectangle tool there so there's a reason the fuel is red let's get this fuel transparent right and then the stroke of the uh, rectangle image let's click on it okay he's red let's uh, choose black to go with the outline of the rpg then here is where you adjust the size right okay here here transparent and they stroke black you can choose any color uh, any color you want but i am using the black one you see here you adjust the uh, the uh, the border right let's see let's just get a good a good a good size okay i think that's great so it's not too 
uh, too big in com uh, in relation to the RPG outline. Okay, I think okay, a bit a bit less. Okay, a bit less. All right. You can always adjust, guys. You can always adjust with numbers here as well. Okay. You can always adjust to numbers. Let, let's put 50. And you'll be perfect. Okay, okay, adjust it. Okay, you can either do by the... Uh, adjusting by the... Um, this bar here. Or by numbers here. Okay. Right, so we've got... Uh, important now. We clicked on this uh, tool here. Rectangle. Let's go back to the move tool. Because ad otherwise, if you forget, you you click here, it messes the whole thing. You create a tri uh, um, a triangle again, you mess the whole thing. If you're not used to uh, to work with it, right? Uh, let's put a lock on it as well, so you don't mess with it anymore. You see, it's it's highlighted here, and you uh, you highlight it and press the uh, lock there, so you won't move. Okay, look, you won't move. Right, we're safe. Now let's. Um, what should we do now? Let's write. Okay, let's go to the uh, uh, type tool. Click. Hold on. Let's adjust the size first. Okay, click on that. Okay, type two. Let's put. Uh, let's put call of duty. Okay, again, we went to the uh, type tool here, uh, Call of Duty. Let's uh, highlight it, and then we know we go to, um, to the format, to the font, to the uh, font format. I've got a uh, luckiest guy here, guys, I love it. You can always type luckiest guy here in the find. And you come up, look, a luckiest guy. I love that format. Okay. It ju has just changed there because it was highlighted. Back to move two. Let's adjust it. Okay. Okay, let's fit uh, Call of Duty here. What you guys think? Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Call of Duty. Okay. So our font is sorted. It does look good, doesn't it? Okay. Tick it here. Brilliant. We've got the Call of Duty there. Now let's work on the Call of Duty. Again, right uh, here. We select. Don't forget to select Call of Duty here. That's the, um, the, um, the letters there. Double click again, this, the, uh, the layer menu, you come up. Now, same thing again, same thing again. You choose if you want a stroke, if you want a color, a color if you want a gradient. Let's uh, click on gradient, right? Uh, as I used this gradient before, if I select gradient overlay again, it will come up the previous one I used. So let's change it. Let's, uh, sorry, sorry, I just double click that by mistake right let's go to gradient let's choose a different format uh, I love that one but I don't know if it, if it goes well with the uh, with the yellow there in the back okay anyways let me just see uh, which one will go better okay how about that no no how about that now? Right, guys, in that case, I think this one looks good. I think this one looks good. I tell you what, this one looks great. What are we going to do now? Well, we can always play around with the, um, with the colors. If you double click on here, you can always click on these squ little squares here where the colors are and change them. You see, you can put it black. You see, you can put it black. 
or let's go back to white so you can uh, cl uh, click here and uh, choose any co any color you like okay I don't want to mess with it now because uh, as I said uh, I would like this uh, to do this video very simplified and then you can always play around you find out we are all clever people okay and guys now okay the gradient here is done okay I selected the templates there just picked one here with a scales you can always play with a play with the scales right look, look and then it goes up and down right you can always play with a scale of the uh, uh the letters okay let's go back to zero there and zero again let's not mess up with it anymore okay we can always like uh, feed you around with it uh right let, let's add a shulk oh that looks great straight away okay that that looks that, that looks great that looks great i think okay so uh i think it looks good as it is uh let me just um uh, okay once you click on the choke you can adjust the size of the uh, the choke okay let's keep it uh, the same size as the uh, as the rpg there right okay once it's finished uh let's uh click okay right i just want to make it be smaller yeah that's better that's better because the uh, you see here you can drag it up and down and you see you can do all sorts with it right okay hold on let me just just a bit more right okay that looks great okay that looks great okay okay right uh then guys that next uh what i i will do next is uh hold on let's should we change should we change hold on let me just uh, see one thing uh, I unlock it okay let's change change your plans okay let's do like that okay guys what I did is I shifted uh, the RPG up a little bit okay it looks good now and let's go back to call of duty i pressed it there let's stretch it all the way here okay does it look better oh gosh i don't know now i don't know now. okay ctrl z let's go back to what it was ctrl z again ctrl z again that's it Ctrl Z, you went uh, steps back. Okay. Right. Okay. C okay. Call of Duty. Let's uh, let's leave you alone there. Let's leave you alone now. Okay. Okay. Call of Duty is there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Call of Duty is there. Looks great then okay let's lock it let's lock it we don't want to touch uh, call of duty um anymore all the writing there okay that looks great that looks great um right now i want to write modern warfare here as i said you do whatever you want with a thumbnail but i want to write modern warfare here i go to uh, call of duty okay i click here so you will work with this uh picture here where where i wrote call of duty you click on it it's selected Control j right it created it duplicated it you can either Control j or you bring the menu here duplicate layer you duplicate as well two ways to do it okay okay uh so it's duplicated i'll just drag let's now uh write more than fair you go back to the uh, type tool there more than warfare 
modern warfare. Right. You went off screen there, but we'll fix it. Okay, back to move two. So you don't want to mess around with it and get your messed up. Okay, modern warfare. My question is, uh, right, right, now we have to, uh, okay, I'm just wondering where to fit uh, this motor will fan out, okay, would it look good here? okay what do you think guys does it look good okay okay yeah just for the sake of uh, just for the sake of the tutorial okay let's uh, let's just place it here okay let's just place it there place it here okay let's place it there okay uh, now I, I think you can increase the size of the uh, hold on the RPG a little bit okay okay awesome awesome okay that's perfect that's perfect guys that's perfect okay put a lock on here again so you won't move and mess things around a lock on everything everything's pretty much ready lock 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 okay perfect right guys so uh okay lock this one as well let's not mess around with it you don't want to move it by mistake and get your messed right okay uh, thumbnail need ready now let's uh, decorate it a bit more let's put some uh, lines uh, uh, lightning let's uh, look on uh, Google same way as we found the RPG um, let's put lightning lightning uh, PNG right look great stuff here great stuff here so let's uh let's find a nice one that uh, we can put uh there to decorate oh that's pretty nice let's go back uh, right okay guys i've got this one right um let's uh here you just uh save right I, i've got it already it's on my uh, photo uh, P folder there. Uh, okay, uh, I'm, I won't say because I've got it ready there. So just look for lightning PNG or action, action lines. You know, like then you can use your imagination for it. You see action lines. Look at this one. This one looks good. Actually, uh, yeah, this one doesn't look like it is PNG this one is you see these are let's put uh, colorful 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 uh, action lines that's it look how many nice ones uh, we found so uh, right so just click on them and save no much secrets this one doesn't look like it is a PNG but a lot of them are this is PNG right you just save I've got mine there, so I don't need to save anymore. Let's go back to Photopay. You save to to, uh, to the folder you want to use the pictures from. Now, what I'm going to do is, I go to File, right? Open and Place. I go to the the folder where I saved it, I saved it all. And let's choose uh, this one. You know, I, I can choose this, I can choose this. Let's uh, put some... Um, action lines on it right there is a problem now uh it's it's open there i can see the frame of it but it's right in the back of everything what uh, what we'll do in this case is uh that's the uh, that's what i've just there's a tab of the action line i've just added so let's put it in front behind the RPG you see is the RPG behind the RPG 
You see what I did? I just dragged. It was here. Here is the RPG. Where do I want this? I want behind the RPG. So click on it. Drag behind the RPG. So it's in between the background and the RPG. Great. Great. Okay, I just uh, resize it. Right, resize it. And uh, yes, don't know if it's better like this or to give a, a, a good focus on the air. Right, let's do like that. Yeah, I think it looks right. Yeah, I think it looks right. Okay, ticky here. Put a lock on it, and now you can click. Right, right, guys, our thumbnail is ready. Our thumbnail is ready. Uh, in so many cases, what I do is I don't want too much going on in the screen, but you could add as well. Uh, you find a light, a lightning uh, PNG. You go to your PNG folder. You can add uh, these uh, rays here as well. Let me show you. Uh, put behind where look, look I can't see it now because it's in the back of everything so what I do is I just added that one where do I want this behind the RPG the RPG picture so here behind the RPG drag drop you see I've got uh, hold on okay move to again uh, I've got it uh, right there Right, and then I can always play around with it. Now, now it would be too much going on in the screen if I do it. But you can do whatever you want. You can add whatever you want. You can play around with it. You see, I can put a ray there. You see, a ray. actually, you look good. Hold on. Actually, you're good. If it stays just over the RPG. Or. Yes, yes, yes. I think it. Or, or on Call of Duty. I think over over Call of Duty is. I like it. I like it. Okay, take it here. Okay, it's done. It's done. Put a lock on it so you don't mess around with it. Okay, that's it. That's it. Does it look good? Yeah, I think it looks great. So yeah, the thumbnail is ready. So guys, uh, just now to um, to end the video. When you um, here are the tabs, here are all the uh, layer tabs that you worked with. If any of them you don't think looks good and you want to delete, simply click on it. Let's uh, delete uh, the effect you just put uh, in last. Delete. Either here, either here, delete, or press delete. That's gone, you see. So okay, let's uh, let's say our thumbnail is ready. We go to uh, file, right? It's already here, all locked. You know, like look, I can't mess with it anymore because it's all locked. File, uh, export as JPEG. Okay, JPEG there. You'll be uh, that's the format I use for my thumbnails. JPEG. Let's press there. Here quality. I always get mine as with as much quality as possible. 100 percent safe. Right? You go to your download folder. Here it is. Here it is. Let's click on it. That's it. Looks great. Looks great. Looks great. Right now, let's go back to um, Photo P again. Um, if you want to save all this work to do more later or change something, you can save as PST, which is which is a Photoshop document, right? If you want to go back to it, let's say you're tired, or I'll, I'll come back to it later. I want to put some rays. I don't want to do it now. You save as PSD, right? Then uh, you can just uh, reload uh, at the main menu of um, Photo P when you open it. Uh, there is new projects and some options. 
you just uh, select um, I think is an option load from PC or something like that and then you just load this file it all comes back okay right guys so our thumbnail is ready on the download folder that's what it looks like that's how uh, I make my thumbnail for my gaming channel right I try to do this uh, video as quick as I could I hope it's well explained um, and if you have any questions please just uh, just ask me all right I didn't get in details how to cut uh, images and things like that but if you have any this is very basic okay but if you have any question just uh, just let me know in the uh, in the comments and uh, I'll be more than happy to help you guys with that. I hope uh, it was uh, helpful. Right, there it is, our, our image, uh, ready. Uh, did entirely on Photopea, a free uh, tool you can use over the internet. It's online, it's great. That's what I use most of the time. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really, um, I really hope it helped you with the thumbnail okay a lot of my uh, subscribers were asking for it and uh, that's how I do them very simple very simple okay I hope it uh, it helps you okay mr. nasty blaster here I'll be streaming tomorrow so I see you guys uh, if not tomorrow uh, sometime in the week okay have a great day everyone